Uh, it's Josh here from Firmax Australia, today demonstrating the difference between wiring a three-wire switch in conventional wiring methods versus uh, Dobber's smart home automation system, showing you how, much, how easy and how much time you can save moving to the future using our smart home automation system and how powerful it is. So, we've got our three lights here. We've got our active neutral and earth, all daisy-chained up, coming back to our master switch. Here we've commented up the earths and the neutrals as well. The active from our power source, from the switchboard, uh, is wired into terminal number one, where we've got our switch wire white connected. In number two, we've got our black with our red, which is actually our active from our lights, into port number two. And then with our common, which is a red wire, that red wire is then moved in and commoned up into switch number two and wired into the common of our final switch, of our third switch. The white and black, which is number one and number two, in terms of, wires into this mech, which is an intermediary mech. You need an intermediate mech. Uh, into the terminals here, which are terminals number one and three. And then we've got our blacks in two and four. And then that wires into numbers one and two into our final uh, mech over here, final switch. So as you can see, it's quite complex in terms of what's required um, to uh, wire and configure a three-wire switch in conventional methods. Okay, let's power it up and demonstrate it working. Okay, now with the power on, uh, our three-way switch means that we can actually turn on and off the lights from any of the light switches. There you go, demonstrating a three-way switch in conventional wiring. So now when we move to our Dobbers Smart Home Automation System, you'll see how the wiring is a lot more simplified. It's much easier to wire a smart home system that is in the conventional sense of the world, and much more powerful. So we've still got our lights, which are daisy chained on the 240, positive negative earth, back to our relay module. And this relay module can actually control eight outputs, and we can even extend that as required. We've got our line and neutral, going to our uh, power supply, our switchboard. Then up the top we've got our switches, which are just daisy chained using blue, blue, white into the back of the switch. One difference here is that uh, these are no longer light switches, they're push button mechs. Okay, and we've just used a cat cable and we've looped in loop out blue and white into uh, the different switch mechs. And it could be any push button switch mechs. As you can see, they're all three different designs. Um, as long as there's a push button mech that goes into this little module here, um, we can control it and use it. So we've programmed it up already, so the top ones are all in our three push buttons, three-way switch. That turns on, off, on, off. There you go. The beauty of this though, is now that it's a smart home system, if we wanted to change the programming and only make this top button and this top button activate the three-way switch, it's a simple uh, step quick step to change that programming function and dump it into the device here. There you go, showing the power of the Dobbers Smart Home Automation System, um, comparing the wiring of the conventional three-way switch wiring to Dobbers Smart Home uh, wiring. It's Josh from Fairmax Australia. Bye for now.